Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to perform some mole calculations. So before we get started, you are going to need a periodic table and your calculators. When you're performing mole calculations, you will always need a periodic table and a calculator. So in this video, we're just going to work some problems and uh, hopefully you catch on. So in this very first example here, we are going to convert moles to grams. So it says right here, how many grams of sodium are in 2.25 moles of sodium? So if you read this question closely, we're asked to determine the number of grams. We want to figure out the number of grams of sodium there are if we have 2.25 moles of sodium. Okay, so if you take a look at this problem, we're starting off with moles. The given quantity or the known quantity is in moles, and we want to figure out how many grams this is. So if you take a look at this little flow diagram here, this should help you solve any type of problem where you're asked to go from moles to grams or grams to moles or moles to atoms or atoms back to moles or grams to uh, molecules or molecules back to grams. And if you have this handy uh, and you work dozens of different problems, then it should become automatic. So in this problem, we're starting off with moles. It says that we have 2.25 moles of sodium moles of sodium and we want to figure out how many grams this is right so we're going to try to figure out how many grams this is and that's going to be pretty simple all we need to do here if we're going from moles if the known quantity is in moles and we want to figure out grams is multiply by the molar mass the molar mass of what well the molar mass of sodium and this is where we're going to turn to our periodic table of elements and if you turn to your periodic table of elements, you'll see that the molar mass of sodium is 22.99 grams. So if we take a look at your periodic table, you'll see that the molar mass of sodium is 22.99 grams per mole. Okay, so what that means is that there are 22.99 grams of sodium for every one mole of sodium that you have. Now take a look at what happens. The unit moles of sodium on top and bottom are going to cancel out, leaving you with grams of sodium. So now you're just going to get your calculator out and take 2.25 times 22.99. And you're going to end up with 51.7. 51.7 grams. Okay, so in this problem here, if you have 2.25 moles of sodium, that is the same thing, or it will have a mass of 51.7 grams. All right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, so in this problem here, we are going to convert grams to moles. All right, so in this problem here, if you read it, we are asked to figure out how many moles. We want to figure out how many moles are in 355 grams of water. So the known quantity is expressed in grams. And we want to figure out how many moles this is. So anytime we know the number of grams and we want to figure out the number of moles of something, you guessed it, we need to divide by the molar mass. So let's go ahead and set this up. We have 355 grams of water. You know the chemical formula for water is H2O. And we want to figure out how many moles this is, right? We want to figure out how many moles this is. So we're going to have to figure out the molar mass of water. And in an earlier video, we learned how to calculate the molar mass of water. If we have H2O, this is made up of hydrogen and it's made up of oxygen. And in fact, you can see that there's two atoms of hydrogen in one molecule and there's one atom of oxygen in a water molecule. The molar mass of hydrogen, if you refer to a periodic table of elements, is going to be 1.01 using the periodic table of elements we have. And the molar mass of oxygen is going to be 16.00. And so this is going to be 2.02. This will be 816, sorry, 0 .00. Add this two together and we will get 18.02 grams per mole. So that is our molar mass. And so if we want to convert grams to moles, it looks like we're going to divide by our molar mass, right? So the molar mass of water we just got done saying is 18.02. And since we're dividing, we'll put that at the bottom of this little equivalent statement here. And what this means is that there's 18.02 grams of water for every one mole of water. 
you'll see that this unit grams of H2O will cancel with this unit, leaving us with the unit moles of H2O, which is what we were asked to find. And so now we just get our calculator out, and we're going to take 355 divided by 18.02, and we will end up with a grand total of 19.7. 19.7. So if you have 350 grams of water, that's the same thing as 19.7 moles of water. Let's take a look at another example. So in this example right here, it says how many molecules. So we're asked to figure out how many molecules of carbon monoxide are in 0.00315 moles of carbon monoxide. So the starting quantity is in moles. And in this problem here, we're asked to figure out how many molecules. We want to figure out how many molecules of carbon monoxide are in a given amount of moles. So it looks like all we're going to have to do here is we are going to have to multiply by Avogadro's number, ultimately. But we have to learn how to set this problem up. So the starting quantity is 0 0.00315 moles of carbon monoxide and you'll notice that whenever you go from moles to atoms or molecules or atoms or molecules back to moles we don't even need to worry about the molar mass with these types of problems right here all we're doing here is we want to cancel out moles of carbon monoxide so we're going to put that at the bottom of our next equivalent statement and we are asked to figure out the molecules of carbon monoxide so we'll put that at the top and so what is the relationship between these two right here? Well, you know that one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CO, okay? So when we say to multiply by Avogadro's number here, we just mean to put Avogadro's number on the top of this little equivalent statement. And so you'll see now that moles of CO2 on the bottom and on the top will cancel out, leaving us with molecules. of carbon monoxide as our uh, our unit of measurement here and so we just take our calculator and we take 0 0.00315 times 6.02 uh, times 10 to the 23rd and it looks like we're going to end up with 1.90 times 10 to the 21st okay so a little sloppy there I apologize but if we have 0 0.00315 moles of carbon monoxide, that's going to contain 1.90 times 10 to the 21st molecules. Let's take a look at another example. All right, in this example here, it says how many moles of gold, so we want to figure out how many moles of gold there are in 1.34 times 10 to the 24th atoms of gold. So the starting quantity is in atoms, and we want to figure out the number of moles. So let's go ahead and set this up. We have 1.34 times 10 to the 24th atoms of gold and what we want to do is we want to figure out how many moles this is okay so we don't need to worry about molar mass we only have to use Avogadro's number for this problem here and so we want to cancel out atoms of gold so we'll put that at the bottom of this next equivalent statement and we want to find moles of gold so we'll put that at the top now, we know that one mole of gold is going to be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of gold, right? We know mole means 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So we just take our calculator out now and we take uh, 1.34 times 10 to the 24th. And we're going to divide this by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we're going to end up with 2.23, it looks like. 2.23 times 10 to the, oh, nope, times 10 to the nothing, sorry. Just 2.23, 2.23 what? The atoms of gold will cancel out, leaving you with moles of gold. So, if we have this many atoms of gold, that's going to be the same thing as this many moles of gold, 2.23 moles. Let's... In this example, it says, how many molecules of NH3 are in 5.65 times 10 to the second grams of NH3? So in this problem here, it looks like we know the number of, of grams of the substance, right? We know the number of grams of the substance, and what we want to figure out 
is how many molecules of NH3 there are in 5.65 times 10 to the second grams of NH3. So what we have to do here is we are first going to convert the grams to moles and then after we do that we're going to have to convert the moles to molecules. So in this problem it's going to be a two-step problem. We are starting off with 5.65 times 10 to the second grams of NH3. And what we are asked to figure out is how many molecules of NH3 this is. So what we need to do right here is divide by the molar mass. And what do we mean by divide by the molar mass? Well, we need to, we need to divide by the molar mass of NH3. And we know that one mole of NH3 from our periodic table of elements is 17.04 grams, 17.04 grams of NH3. If we look at our periodic table, we'll see that nitrogen is 14.01 and that hydrogen is 1.01, but there are three hydrogens, so we need to multiply this by three. And when we add this up, we are gonna get 14, or I'm sorry, 17.04 grams of NH3. So now that brings us to this step right here but we need to figure out how many molecules this is. So we know that one mole of NH3 contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of NH3. So now we just take our calculator out and we take 5.65 times 10 to the second. We're gonna divide that by 17.04. And then we're going to multiply this by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we're going to end up with a final answer of, if we use the correct number of sig figs here, we have three sig figs right here. It looks like our final answer is going to be 2.00 times 10 to the 25th. Well, what unit do we need to attach here? Well, moles of NH3 on top and bottom cancel, grams of NH3 on top and bottom cancel, leaving us with molecules of NH3, which is what we were asked to find, right? We wanted to know how many molecules of NH3 were in 5.65 times 10 to the second grams of NH3. There are 2.0 times 10 to the 25th molecules of NH3. Let's take a look at another example. All right, in this example here, it says, what is the mass of 1.75 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of methane? So mass, mass is measured in grams. So we are trying to figure out how many grams uh, or the mass of 1.75 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of methane. So we're starting off with molecules. We want to figure out grams. So we can see that we have to do this first, convert it to moles. Once we're done with that, we're going to convert it to grams. So we have 1.75 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of CH4. And we can see that this is going to be a two-step problem. This is going to be a two-step problem. We first have to convert the molecules to moles and then the moles to grams. So let's focus on this step right here. We will now have to divide by Avogadro's number. We know there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CH4 in every mole of CH4. Right, so now that brings us to this step right here, but now we got to take it a step further, and so we have to multiply by the molar mass. What is the molar mass of CH4? Well, if we break CH4 down, we can see it's made up of carbon and hydrogen, and if you take a look on your periodic tables, well, first of all, you'll see that there's only one carbon atom in a molecule of methane. There's four hydrogens. You'll see that the molar mass of carbon on your periodic table of elements is 12.01, and the molar mass of this is 1.01. So we'll end up with 12.01 here. We'll end up with 4.04 here. We're going to add these together and we'll get 16.05 grams per mole. Okay, so there's our molar mass. And so we now need to uh, multiply by the molar mass if we're going from moles to grams. And so we know that there are 16.05 grams of CH4 
in every mole of CH4. There we go. We can see now that this unit on top is going to cancel out with this unit right here. Moles of CH4 will cancel out with moles of CH4. And you can see that we are on the right track because our final answer will be in grams of CH4, which is what we were trying to find. We're trying to find the mass, and mass is always measured in grams or kilograms or some sort of derivative of grams. All right, so now we'll get our calculator out, and we'll take 1.75 times 10 to the 22nd, divide this by Avogadro's number, and then multiply by 16.05. And we will end up with an answer of 0.467 or 0 0.467 grams of methane. So if you have this many molecules of methane, it will have a mass of 0 0.467 grams. Okay, so uh, this is part one of mole conversions. We'll work on part two, some more challenging ones in a different video, but this should give you a good start. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys found this helpful.